so okay students let's start with the chapter alternating current in the previous chapter that is of electromagnetic induction we have studied that uh, the ac generator generates uh, the voltage this way v is equals to v not sin omega t this we have done earlier now this is a sinusoidal function so if we draw it will be going like this according to the sin wave and uh, over here this value that is this value will be the maximum voltage we call it v naught and so v is equals to v naught sin omega t this is the instantaneous value of the voltage now let us uh, in this chapter start with the alternating current ab current ki baat karte hain so in the same way as uh, the voltage is sinusoidal or alternating same way the current is also alternating and therefore the formula for this alternating current that is the instantaneous formula will then be similarly given as i is equals to i not into sin omega t and so if you again uh, draw it over here on this current towards uh, um, this was the voltage versus time graph now let us make it a current versus time graph also then in that case let us say this is the voltage it's uh, so this is the current again you can see this is also sinusoidal and then this is the maximum value which we will call it as i not so they are very much similar in this way here as you know omega is the angular frequency and t is the time now we are going to introduce over here in this chapter a term root mean square value of alternating current now what do we mean by the root mean square value that is what we are going to see now now let us think that there is a resistor through which the current is passing and therefore there will be a heat generated in this resistor now let us say that dh is the small amount of heat small amount of heat which is generated in time dt now i want the heat over one cycle one cycle means from here to here this is one cycle so i want to find out the heat in one cycle and so what i have to do is then integrate now as you already know the formula for the heat will be dh is equals to i square r dt this comes from the joules formula and therefore we can uh, write over here then if you want to find out the total heat over one cycle then we'll have to integrate so integral of dh is the integral of i square r dt now i over here can be written as i not sin omega t as you can see over here so integral of dh will be equal to the integral of i not sin omega t the whole square r dt so here clearly we can uh, take out the constants which are i not square now because there is a square over it or r and then in the integral we will have sin omega t square or sin square omega t dt now this integral has to be performed over one cycle so uh, let us say from here to here the time taken is capital t which is also called the time period 
and therefore here we will have from 0 to the time period t from 0 to t from 0 to t now how to integrate this you will do it in mathematics you might have done it already so we are not going into the mathematics of this and we'll di simply directly write the uh, value of this and so finally what value we'll, got af we'll get after in uh, integrating this is i naught square r t by 2 this is what we are going to get so this is the heat generated over one cycle now if you are talking in terms of DC this is AC so if you are talking in terms of DC DC has a particular amount of current which is fixed whereas AC the current is alternating that is it is changing every time so if you want one value over here for the current let us uh, call that value as the RMS value so uh, here I can also write according to the Joule's law I R M S square R T. Now if we compare these two equations then what we get is that I R M S square R T is equals to I naught square R T by 2. R and T will get cancelled and so finally what we will get over here is i r m s square is equals to i naught square by 2 and so we can also write over here that the i r m s that is the r m s value of the current is i naught by root 2 right so this is called the root mean square value of the current which is a fixed value so if you want to consider in AC also like DC only then there must be one value of current which value of current we should we take out of all these values of current we will take the RMS value and the RMS value will be in the uh, 1 upon root 2 times the maximum value of current which is I naught over here.